Hi there. So this is a demonstration of uh, one of my tools uh, that can be used to capture Adobe Analytics uh, network call on any URL. So you basically input your URL here and click on fetch and it would fetch you a list of all props, events, evas, etc. Um, so I've used uh, uh, Node.js um, along with uh, many other libraries inside no of uh, Node.js. It's basically a very simple program as you can see it's with a very minimalistic design. Um, I have one uh, HTML to grab the URL and one JS file to process it uh, to go there, capture the network call, parse it, etc. And then one more HTML to uh, present you with the output in tabular format. We can also use um, CSS uh, for styling. So let's see how it works. Let me start uh, the, the server uh, locally. Okay, the server is running now. Let me just refresh um, and see who, where, which website do we choose. <clears throat> uh, Adobe Analytics, um, customer stories, talk about Hostel World, Epson, Philips, etc. Uh, let me choose Hostel World and see um, if uh, if we can fetch Adobe Analytics uh, network call details on that website. So basically, you input the URL, click on fetch, and wait for some time uh, for the program to do its thing. Yeah, voila. So you see here uh, all the list of uh, variables, like name value pairs that you see, um, all the props, evars, and everything on that particular URL. You can input any URL. Um, we can, uh, I mean, let's give it a try for some other uh, customer um, we can try Philips Philips India website fetch <clears throat> okay so on philips.com uh, dot co dot in um, we have all this going on oh wow a lot of dynamic variables there Hmm. Yeah, pretty good. They make use of 95 UVARs. Wow. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can try any other uh, website. Let's see Epson. Yeah. So there are some console uh, dot log. Yep, here you go. I took a little uh, longer than usual uh, uh, URLs. Oh, I see. This is why. It's pretty text heavy. Mm, yeah, you see all the evas and props and all the events. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Another cloud. Okay, so. Uh, basically, uh, as I was saying, for a real-world application, if this could be made, um, uh, instead of a URL, if it's a file path, and uh, if I can um, I know, mm, pass this code into a for loop and execute it uh, for each row, um, and then load this uh, result uh, table inside an Excel file, that would uh, really make the tool uh, very robust. So make sure to check the links in the description to see all the codes and where um, I'll be uh, putting a blog post regarding this. And I'll be explaining uh, a lot more in that blog post. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.